Ladies and gentlemen, today we are working on a Predator 4000 watt generator. Now, the thing about these, I got another one over there slightly bigger, that's a 4275. The thing about these is, they're good generators. They're okay. They're easy to work on. Super easy to work on. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you guys how to clean the carburetor on one of these generators. Now, I was working on his other champion, but I'm not going to be able to get that running. I need to order parts for it. But we are going to get this running for him so he has something. So all we're really going to need is, you know, a 10 millimeter, maybe an 8 pair of needle nose pliers. You know, just the standard stuff. But this should be a fairly simple job. Yep, there's the eights. But it is generator season for sure. Because everybody's bringing me their generators now. Are those tens? Oh, I got that on backwards. Man, I'm an idiot. I am so scatterbrained today. And then after this, we'll go to the tins, right there. There's another one hiding under this little hose. Easy, like I said, easy. There's one more down here, but we just bend it out of the way. Because it's a pointless. I don't even know why they put it there. Then this is how I repair every single generator. Because every generator that has one of these box filters has this bolt down here. I just bend it. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Just bend that some bitch. It'll bend back fine. Nobody's gonna care. Cause it's a pain in the ass to reach to it. If they put the bolt on the front, I would never bend it. I would always take it off. But they don't, they put it back there. This thing is dripping. There we go. I guess we'll move that out of the way. Now we have access to this carburetor. You can tell it is a little dirty. Nothing to be too worried about. Pull off the choke, pull it forward, lift off the throttle cable like so, and now we got the carburetor. Most of the time this back gasket doesn't come with it, but it is a little stuck on there. We could leave it on there. No need to pull it off and rip it. It's not gonna kill it to do it. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna Ooh, it's sticky down there. Oh, there's gas in it. I'm going to drain the gas out. We're going to go put it on the bench and clean this carburetor up. I may have lied. We're going to clean it right here on this top of this Harbor Freight bucket. Oh, that's so sticky. Beautiful. Take our flathead screwdriver, get it in there. Pressure down while we're turning. Don't want to break that. I'm going to leave the emulsion tube in there. It actually looks pretty clean. I can see through it. But you never know. There's probably something else gummed up. And you know what? I lied. We're going to pop that emulsion tube out. There's that. Now we'll pop this part out. Be careful. If these are sun rotted, they'll break. As you can tell, this carburetor is a little dirty. Now you don't have to clean the outside of a carburetor, but it looks better when you do. I just got that all up in my face. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, you don't have to clean the outside. I want to check. Yeah, that's actuating fine. We're trying to clean these nasty parts right here. So you see that was a little gummed up. So what you do is you just get in the holes 
and you spray in all the holes. Now what you're looking for is for if you like for example if I spray in this hole I want to see it come out this way. Now see how I'm spraying in here and it's coming out there. That's cleaned out now. There we go. Now I'll clean off this little sticky part. Spray in the bowl a little bit. Make sure this is coming out. And it's not. So this pilot's probably a little clogged. But I think we got it. Okay, let's put it back together. Emulsion tube always goes, oh, you know what? That's a little dirty. I didn't get the emulsion tube out all the way. God, this Shop Pro has a lot of PSI. The stable carburetor cleaner does not have that much PSI. Can I see through this? Barely. Let me get my carburetor cleaning thing. Getting off some of this green crud. Beautiful, beautiful. So when you put one of these back together, the double bands always goes face down. Single band always goes into the carburetor. Followed by your jet. We'll just screw that in there, nice and pretty. And when you put one of these on, put it on there, like this. If this is on the right side, the nut is always gonna go on the left side, all the time, 100%. You always put that nut on the left side of the carburetor. And that's all there is to it. We'll put it back on the machine, put some gas in it, and see if she runs. Okay, we're just finishing this up. Chokes back on. Let's put this little gasket back on. <clears throat> Pull this thing back up and over. Now, before I actually put the air filter back on, I'm going to make sure that it starts and runs. And then I'm going to call the customer and tell them to start coming over here. I put the air filter back on. So let's make sure there's no drip drops. I guess we can put this little guy back on. I have a feeling, you know, I'm really good at this. That's why I show people how to fix it themselves. I have a feeling it's gonna run fine. It's gonna be no issues. But you never know, something else could be wrong. I didn't test it obviously before we started this repair. I just assumed, I, I always try to take the customer's word on it. Okay, no electric start. Switches to the on position. Let's make sure there's oil in it real quick. This thing is actually really low on oil. <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna put some oil in it first. That's why you always check the oil. Making sure I even have some oil. I got some oil. I have of course should do it. Okay, note to self, I do have to buy some oil. Before tomorrow. So I always like to make sure I have oil at all times because everything needs a 
either an oil change or like this one just needs to add some oil oh, i need to go buy some new ketchup dispensers There we go, a little farting. Get a rag here, wipe my oil off my hands. Wipe the dipstick off, stick it in there. Now there's oil on the dipstick. And that took almost the whole thing. So what, eight ounces? So it was pretty low. That could have just been the reason it wouldn't start. Low oil. So. I guess you should always check it first. But the thing was. That carburetor was pretty nasty. So we needed a carburetor clean anyways. Let's give it a run. Okay, nothing's coming, nothing's not even popping. I'm gonna spray a little bit of carburetor cleaner inside the throttle. Choke it back up, try it again. I might have missed something in that carburetor. Let me make sure there's gas in it. We can take uh What did I miss? Everything looks fine. Unless there's no gas running to it. Which could very well be the case. See, I didn't put that to the, I put it a little too far to the left. It should be right here. So what I can do is bust out the little mini guy. I'm just gonna find him. This right here is what I mean by the little mini guy. Should be able to get in there. Loosen this nut. Okay. We're going to use Long Boy with Little Mini Boy. hand loosen it a little bit see there's gas going out <laughs> taking that thing back up <clears throat> see if we can't get this thing running with carburetor cleaner Something messed up in that carburetor. I'm just gonna spray a little bit around it. Well, I managed to unclog it, but now I'm just double spraying all the holes inside the carburetor. Yeah, now it's coming up out of there. Okay. Yeah, it is right. Oh, it's hailing. You don't see the hail every day. 
Jeez. Jeez Louise. Well, now people are really going to need, especially when their solar isn't working, then that's when they call me to fix their generators. Okay, there's no reason this thing should not run now. But, it's been bad luck so far, so we're going to find out. customer have him come pick it up and then we're gonna put this thing together see pilot jet was plumb clogged got it unclogged now it's running fine sometimes you just miss something in this industry but anyways thank you guys for watching so I cleaned the carburetor all the way put oil in it did all the fun stuff now it's just time to put it back together a few eight millimeter bolts and before I end this video, I'll do one more test run, but let me call this customer and tell him to start coming over. I gotta pull this other generator in because now it's starting to hail here in Arizona, which it doesn't do. So, that's weird. Okay, I put a different battery up in my camera, my GoPro. So now, everything's on. It's been sitting for a minute. I don't see no leakies. Uh, we might not need to choke it. We're gonna find it. Sorry about the length of this video, ladies and gentlemen. I did get it to start now, one pull start, so I'm happy with this repair now. So like I said, this is a Predator 4000. It was supposed to be a super easy job. Turns out it wasn't as easy as you think. But yeah, hey, you know I know another good channel you guys should check out? You gotta check out my man's Bald Eagle 242. That boy knows what he's talking about. I just like to give shout outs to people. So yeah.